Thank you for visiting this page. This is a tribute to Billy Bean, an officer of the Sacramento Police Department, borrowing from the words of our friend Vivianini, who lost her husband in the line of duty. It's not how Billy died that makes him a hero. It's how he lived. And in remembering Officer Billy Bean, we have made a vow at Patriot Defenders Network and Crime Watch to honor his service and his sacrifice by constantly advocating for his peers and dealing with those things in government we sometimes just don't understand. Billy was assassinated by a parolee at large. It's a topic that has plagued Crime Watch for many years. We testified before the California Public Safety Committee in 1995 concerned with the high loss of officers in prior years. Dundell Wright was a parolee at large. It's not the first time that officers have been killed in the line of duty by those who were given a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance to reintegrate back into the community, a community that they so offended that it sent them to prison in the first place. What you're about to hear are the events that unfolded the night our city lost one of its finest. We offer this as a reminder that we can never forget, we can never falter, and we can never fail to campaign for officer and public safety. Billy Bean, we love you, your family. Rest in peace, and God bless you. I need code three cover for my partner. All right, we're coming. Code three cover, and we've got the fire and ambulance coming. This is last scene. Here she is. Go to Officer Bean, and everybody set up over on the South Avenue. Get us a unit over on Altos and South, Altos and Kessner. 44, Altos and South. Okay, several units. Who's en route? 44. The priority. Executive responding code. Got it. 1044, clear the air. Give me light flight out here right now. 44. Go ahead. Like a steel arm, he had a, it looked like a nine millimeter. Uh, green clothing, he identified himself as Christopher Wright. Male, black, goatee. For the next five hours, area law enforcement engaged in a massive manhunt, going house to house and covering ground that they had covered before. Eventually, a description was put out and the suspect was identified. Attention all units, update information on the suspect description. It's going to be a male black, 30, 5 foot 10 to 6 foot, 160 to 180, very dark complexion. Last seen wearing a dark club type jacket, very dark color, possibly black with dark green in it. Also had gold writing on the front, unknown what the design said. Officers caught their first break when they found clothing that had been discarded from the suspect. This occurred within a few hundred feet of where the fatal shooting took place. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, can you advise Crowley or McHenry that uh, there's possible uh, clothing at uh, the first residence there on Kessner? I think it was 710. Just wait and leave it and move on, and we'll mark it at 700 Kessner, I think is what Dave said. Well, beeper. Suspect here. Stand by. Beeper's on. And Get on your uh, Male Black, we got him in. 700 Kessner. Union 1, maintain the perimeter. Do not. Do not break down the perimeter. Everybody maintain position. All units maintain your positions. Repeating, all units maintain your positions. Okay, the suspect matches identically red hat, red beanie, green hat jacket. It looks just a positive. He was hiding in the rear yard. Copy, red. The description matches exactly red hat beanie. Unit 10. Unit 10, we've also uh, recovered a weapon here. Copy, recovered the weapon. 